Good morning. Good morning. We are extremely pleased that you are here. It is good to come together for the purpose of co-creating. Do you agree? Yes. You're knowing what you are wanting? Are you enjoying the expansion of your own personal preferences and desires? Yes. Are you getting pretty good at staying up to speed with them? In other words, do you believe in your ability to accomplish whatever it is you have decided? Do you expect the universe to yield to you in detail the preferences that you are choosing? Do you expect the universe to surprise and delight you? surprise you in the sense that it is so much more than you even knew you wanted when what you wanted gets together with all of its combining and becomes the full manifestational experience do you find yourself in an experience where you are realizing that this is what you have been asking for but it is more as it is fleshed out than you even knew it could be do you feel like that from time to time yes. that's what deliberate creation feels like Creation by default doesn't feel so much like that because if you have not taken the time to identify what you want and to realize that you are identifying it, to choose deliberately and to acknowledge your choices and then to deliberately hold your thoughts more and more in the direction of your choices and not so much in the direction of why you have made your choices. I want this and why because of how it feels in the full experience of it rather than I want this because this doesn't feel so good in other words when you make that steady flip where you are out ahead of it not fixing broken things and not trying so much to improve your life experience but basking in the improvements can you feel the difference because when you're overcoming something what you're trying to overcome is coming with you and you're not overcoming it when you're trying to get over it or move past it or fix it then the resistance about it comes with you and slows you down so knowing what you don't want is a good thing if it is brief but then explaining how much you don't want it and how much you shouldn't be getting it and how much you don't deserve it and how much others seem to be doing it to you deliberately that's not helpful because it causes you to hold yourself in a holding pattern of what is and it doesn't allow you to move forward into the improvement does that make sense to you you live in a vibrational universe and you are a vibrational being and you are radiating vibrations continually and you can't fake what you're offering how you feel is how you feel and how you feel is what you get and it doesn't matter what you say with your words by trying to cover up how you feel how you feel is the true indicator of what you're offering vibrationally and that's what's coming back to you and that's such a good thing because when you get that that what you're getting is what you're offering vibrationally and then you also realize that you can change what you're offering vibrationally not instantaneously but you can find a way of doing that and we've been playing with you for a long time giving you some ideas of how you might improve your vibration how you might move up the vibrational scale how you might get into the vortex or how you might find vibrational alignment with the things that you want how you could come into alignment with the whole of who you are how you could come into fuller expectation of who you are and stand in a place of readiness as you joyfully witness your ideas coming into full fruition that's really what you are all about you are creators you've come to create and as we talk about all the things that you could do to improve your vibration here and now there are harder ways to go about it and easier ways to go about it and a lot has to do with where you're standing the important thing to understand is that wherever you are is fine wherever you are is where you are so it has to be fine and wherever you are is fine because it has to be fine but even if it didn't have to be fine but it has to be fine even if where you are 
didn't have to be fine it's still fine and where you are is where you are and we want where you are to be all right with you because it's all right with us and because it's all right with who you really are it is all right with your inner being but if where you are is not all right with you then the all rightness that you keep proclaiming is what's holding you back from what you really want your acknowledgement of where you are and your judgment about the imperfection or inappropriateness of it in other words when you get down on you that's as bad as it gets for you because when you get down on you you don't let any of the things that you've been asking for in but you know what you do do when you get down on you when you get down on you and therefore you don't let the things that you really want in you want them more and when you want them more now you put even more tension you want them more but you still don't let them in not a good idea because when you want them more and you don't let them in the tension becomes greater yes so if you want them more and you still don't let them in maybe you should want them less you think that's a good idea no because you can't want them less life has parlayed you into a vibrational creation once you've created the new and improved version of you you can't say never mind you can't say I don't really want that because I can't find vibrational equivalency with it I don't really want that anymore because my habit is to oppose it in thought and my desire now feels bad to me so never mind I take it all back no no your inner being believed you and went where you said you wanted to go and is there holding the vibration waiting for you to catch up you got no choice but to catch up because your expansion is what you set into motion and you've got to get up to speed with your own expansion or you don't feel so good you get that don't you do you get that yes. do you want to get that more yes. you want to really understand that you want to get yourself in alignment with who you are all right then we're going to tell you a really short story about who you really are and then off we're going to go into who you are becoming so here you are in these magnificent bodies but you are so much more than you usually realize because you are an extension of source energy and the source energy part of that sentence matters so much because the source energy part of you is a big reason for the way you feel and by that we mean you are such big energy and you have come with such big reason and purpose that when you are up to speed in a moment with all of that you feel fantastic but when you're not up to speed you don't feel good and as we just said to you in another way and we're going to say to you in this way and in many ways throughout this day you can't take back the bigness that you've become and that's what so many of you are tripping over because your life has caused you to become so much more this is an indication of this vibrational reality this vibrational coming together of circumstances and events which you want to call future because you can't see them yet which we call present because they exist and are real and are affecting the way you feel every day Whew. so you've become more prosperous and you become more sure of yourself and you become more of all of the things that you're asking for you are evolving vibrationally that's the precursor to everything that manifests in a way that you can see in here and smell and taste and touch but because it's vibrational and you can't see it or hear it or smell it or taste it or touch it sometimes you want to call it not there when it is there and that is the thing that if you can get over your joy will be immediate and the then manifesting in the way you want to see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it will begin to happen at such speed and consistency that you will begin to know yourself as what others may call magic as you will know as normal you will be the deliberate creator of your own experience 
but you first got to accept that you are a vibrational being and that this vibrational you has already happened and that the circumstances and events are already queued up and you want to make your primary work to get yourself as often as you can into a receiving mode so that you can receive the vibration so that you can feel the impulse to move at the right time so that you can feel the impulse to be in the right place at the right time so that you can feel the impulse to know what you really know so that you can feel the impulse in the conversation or even when you're just mulling things over in your own mind you want to get in sync with who you are but you've got to stop being so in sync with what is already manifested because what is already manifested and who you really are are not the same thing can you follow that you are more than what has manifested and you want to be that more in every way so that you and others can see it and hear it smell it and taste it and touch it but as long as your primary emphasis is on analyzing and acknowledging what has materialized your awareness of what has materialized keeps what's over here ready to materialize from materializing does that make sense my bank account doesn't have enough money in it but your vibrational currency is enormous but as you look at your bank account and feel uncomfortable with what it is that discomfort is your indicator that you're not letting your vibrational currency in so you can't get the impulse you can't feel about you the way that your inner being does when you are focusing upon what you think is instead of what we know is it's such a thin veil or line or whatever you want to call it distinction between what is available to you and what you are letting become in your bank account or whatever the subject of your creation is it's just the difference between you adjusting your mood or attitude or expectation just a little bit yeah.